full breath until I got to see him breathing on his own again. Well, tonight we are hearing from the heroes who jumped into action to save a Hillsborough County teen's life. 17-year-old Ansel Loriano collapsed while running track at Leto High School. School staff and a deputy are being credited for their quick, quick thinking. This all happened on the track at Leto High School, which is located on West Sly Avenue in Tampa. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino joins us live with this story. Well, good evening, Jen and Keith. Such a scary situation. You know, school staff, they're trained to handle something like this, but they've never experienced something like this. But when faced with this situation, they didn't hesitate to jump into action. I just got here, sir. I gave one shot. Good job, buddy. A moment 17-year-old Ansel Lariano and his mother are calling a miracle. He was dead for eight minutes. He don't breathe. Last week, the team collapsed while running track at Lado High School. Coach Lauren Palick called for backup as she raced to help Ansel. He was not breathing, so I began um, CPR, started compressions and mouth to mouth. Although she's CPR certified, Coach Palick says nothing could prepare her for this, crediting a 911 dispatcher for keeping her calm. I'm getting a little emotional, but you know, even with training, it was scary. Um, and I knew what to do, but having someone on the other end of the line counting with me made me feel like I wasn't alone. I hear word that um, there's CPR happening, um, compressions happening, so then I run full speed. Moments later, assistant principal Scott Hazlitt arrived with a defibrillator. It said, um, everyone stand back, administering shock. Um, and it shocked the, the student. Um, and then Ms. Palick continued uh, compressions on that kiddo. Then Hillsborough County Deputy Dina Byland arrived on scene and joined the life-saving efforts. We heard the call come out. There was a juvenile, a, a child involved, and that automatically gets us into go mode. And I did what I could to get there as soon as possible. I happened to be in the right place at the right time. Loriano had no heartbeat and wasn't breathing for eight minutes. But thanks to the quick thinking of his coach, assistant principal, and the deputy, he's alive today. I have two coaches, which I'm grateful for. I have a full team and everything, and I'm kind of glad that, like, everybody was fast enough to help me and knew how to help me. Now, Loriano was taken to the hospital, stayed there for 24 hours, but is expected to make a full recovery. He's very athletic on the soccer team as well as the track team. So doctors still trying to figure out exactly why this happened. Keith. All right. Thank you. Melissa Marina reporting live. Great that they had that defibrillation.